Good morning, all my beautiful people. Say hello, good morning, Matthew. Good morning. What's up? Travis and Matthew have been out all morning. I have already cooked breakfast for everybody. We are about to go out, but I cannot wait to show you the footage that Travis got for you guys. For the past two days, he's got some footage. Just day three, we've been here for you guys. And oh my gosh, all the deer that you guys will see in the footage of one deer while Caleb was sleeping that came up by him. Amazing. Can't wait for you guys to see it, but I'm gonna get ready. And then we will get back with you when we get out here in these woods. All right guys, we're heading out. Travis and Caleb just left, making sure I have everything. Taking one more potty break, and then the power went out, but it just came back on. So now I need to make sure everything's turned off. But anyways, we're heading out there, so I'll see you guys here soon out there. Okay, so we're driving down here to this field. This field right here. So just right down from the cabin. I usually park just like right over there because I'm taking a bunch of stuff with me. So later on this evening, I don't have to carry it all because even, even though we're parking down here, we still have a long walk to the tree house. But Travis, what I was saying earlier, got some good footage for you guys. And I'll probably pop in the video right now of this really cool video of Caleb sleeping on the ground. And Travis is usually on top. Caleb likes to sleep, so when Travis gets to the tree stand, Caleb just stays on the bottom and takes a little nap. And this buck shows up and Travis sprays deer pee. And oh my gosh, this buck comes up to Caleb and it's so cool and it obviously smells human and then it runs off it's so cool though like caleb didn't even know it we just showed him the video when he came back enjoy it anyways we are going to now head out to our tree house so you ready yeah. yeah let's do this matthew's just chilling on the rain shooter thing the deer and that's funny we haven't even been walking we gotta go back there and then take this old railroad track all the way down it's a long walk and the cabin's over there and then we just park the truck here Come on, Addy, let's go. Brought toys and stuff like that. But at least you guys get to see the tree house now. And my face has been breaking out since we don't ever leave the house. I don't have to wear a mask, but every time I wear a mask, my face is so sensitive. So you'll see like my little pimple cream stuff on my face. Because I do not like breaking out. It's not my thing. Matthew, come on. You gotta be quiet. So we'll see you guys on the trail. So this is the old railroad track. We could drive back here, but we don't. So each side is just like a big fall down and you can look over the field. And we could sit here too. But with Matthew, it's kind of hard. But look, all these leaves make it so hard to be quiet. We should have brought a leaf blower. Where? Shh, 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 shh. The best thing about my camera too is I can zoom up. Shh. I can zoom up really, really close. There's no deer, Addy. What is it? That's just a sign. Oh. But anyways, the leaves on the ground are really, really loud. So it's kind of hard to walk back here and be quiet. So I'll see you guys at the tree then. We'll get this day started. Oh, get up, Addy. Try again. You okay? Addy thought we seen a deer out there, but it definitely wasn't a deer. It's a sign. Let me get in front of you. Ouch. Let me break these leaves down. Go. We made it. Finally made it here. See, we look over this whole field in the bottom. We made it. I also did a time watch to see how long it actually takes us to walk back here. And I started a little late because I thought, I'm gonna see how long it takes. So, probably about 10 minutes. Daddy's down here somewhere. We're gonna be setting up there. And we get to watch everything. So, here we go. I'll go first. Careful. Make sure it's on the right. You ready to do this, Maddie? You can take your jacket off while we get up there. 
You want to take it off? Yeah. So it'd be easier. And then you can put it on. Watch the sticky bushes. All right, let's do this, Maddie. You get up there, you go, and I'm gonna be behind you, and Addie will help you get up there, okay? So go. I'm gonna be right behind you. Once you start going, I'm getting behind you. You're fine, mommy. <laughs> now and this is our view we get to look over everything and Addie look there's that sign that you thought was a deer that's the sign you thought was a deer we were over there and Addie thought that was a deer so right now I'm going to clean out this area because no one's been in here for a while and then we're gonna stay low and be quiet This is also our backside, and I've had lots of deer come back here and turkeys. We got the Wi Fi box set up. Addie's getting the YouTube ready. I'm about to put the covers down. Matthew's got toys, and I should be good to hunt. Good job. Matthew, be careful. for 30 minutes anyways because we gotta go meet Travis and take him to the cornfield and drop him off. I probably won't come back here because he's a little too loud. So I might take him back to the house and him and Addie can stay in the house and I'll stay near the house and hunt. Plus I always see more deer around the house. I don't know how many times I've laid right here while Travis set up there like Addie is. And then I would just lay down here. I can tell you guys some important news. Indiana's shutting down again. School's let out. They won't be going back until January. Sometime, I can't remember. Even though I haven't been going to work, I go to work here and there. I don't know what that means for me, which I'm fine with getting unemployment right now. It's like, great, but we'll find out. Ain't nothing changed really for us because we're already quarantined basically. My kids haven't went back to school, but school is definitely out now. My double chin. I'm sure there'll be a whole nother lockdown because the cases are so bad again. Here, where we are, we're in the middle of nowhere, so it's a lot safer. I feel so much safer here. Going home yesterday, I felt so, uh, all the traffic, there's hardly like, I mean, you see about one or two cars on the road around here, or none, and I just felt a lot safer around here. There's less people, and I'm back at home. You go to a gas station, and it's full, of, like, being at Walmart. Right now, we're just looking and waiting, so. It is freezing. I can't wait to go. If it's cold. It sucks for us when it's freezing, but it's good for the deer to get them moving. 
I'm still exhausted. I think I slept too much today or last night. We went to bed, I think around seven. And I got up about three because I went to bed so early. Stayed up for like an hour and went back to sleep. There's an owl that scares away any of the animals that come up here. Sometimes it don't work. Sometimes we come up here and there's a crap ton of creatures that run out mice and everything. Usually there's a little propane heater up here, but I don't see it. I'll get back with you guys. What it's like for a mom to hunt with kids. You ready for it? We got the laptop, phone, we got toys, we got snacks, we got loud kids, but when you're a mom of five and you want to hunt, you got to make it work. I just don't think it's going to work here for me. I'm going to have to go hunt somewhere else. I'm about to sit in this chair. I'll be the person who starts looking for deer now. Let's see what's out here. Still nothing. I'm sure we're all too loud, so. Got my toilet paper in case any of us have to use the restroom. But we won't be here long, so it won't matter. Here we go. My turn. The cabin is way over there, and we walked all this, and then the cabin's way over there. And Travis, when he goes hunting, he walks all the way down this, all the way down here, down here, down here, and down way over there. It's called the swamps, like well, what we call it. And he's way back in there, so that's where he always hunts, which he's been seeing all the deer. We'll probably be leaving here soon because this kid's just being too loud and kicking the wall and stuff like that. So we're probably going to leave. It's pointless for me to set up here and all of us set up here to freeze. My lips are so chapped too. I know you guys probably noticed it in the camera. We're probably going to get out of here, go down these steepo things here and go back take that long walk back to the cabin and probably hunt when i get travis to his hunting spot there's just no point with matthew which is understandable he's little but it was a worth the try we'll see you guys the next clip that was interesting trying to come down there with matthew and he was scared i was scared because i had to basically hold him oh <laughs> run in the trees and get him down with with us both that's creepy but we're heading out and going through here to get back on the trail with all this stuff all over me, look. Daddy we gotta go meet him. We got all this. Five. Gotta help this guy out. Matthew, we're going straight through, right in front of us. Right over there. Got it? Once we get on the trail. Once we get on the trail, he'll be fine. Let so me go off here and help my child. Baby wraps that hold babies in the. So I took the cover and Matthew wants me holding when I have him wrapped up with the cover. <laughs> went to four different places. We're right by Illinois, the state line, but we went and got Subway, Burger King, some more stuff for the fridge, stuff like that. But we're gonna enjoy the sunset, eat some dinner, wait for daddy to get here, and I may sneak outside and, you know. Are you ready to sit down and eat, Caleb? Yeah. All right, let's do this. We didn't bring the vlogging camera out here, but Addie's gonna drive down there to get, we need to get some firewood for up here, so let's see how Addie does. Of course, I'm going to help her. She kind of pushed the pedal. I I could reach the pedal, but try it. Let's see. Is it this way? Put your foot on the brake. Yep. Now let go. Yay! This is fun. Stay right here. Stay over so you, you, don't, you don't make new marks. I just push my foot. Whenever. Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, I said push my foot. Oh, I thought you said push your foot to go, um, I think it's the other way. 
No, my foot was on the brakes. So you gotta keep going more. Oh, I got it. My foot was on the brakes, so I was saying push my foot when oh, you're ready to stop. I thought you were saying push your foot when you're ready to Luckily, go. I have control. We're gonna load some of this firewood up in the back, and then hopefully quiet enough that I can get down there. We did this last year. Tell me this place ain't beautiful. Just look at it. Look how beautiful. All right, guys, I'm about to go out here. Just got the fire started. The kids are occupied watching Paw Patrol. Addie's gonna watch him. I got a little bit, little bit of daylight. So I'm gonna go walk that way. See if I can see a deer and Hopefully come back with a big buck. That'd be cool, huh? So we'll see. Don't think I'll be able to take you guys with me because it's dark. So I'll take my phone because I have a light on there. So I'll see you guys maybe out there. Or when I get back, I'll let you know how it went. Guys, Caleb's exercising. Matthew still watches Paw Patrols and Travis is back is outside. We are about to do this thing called, you know, go to bed. And then tomorrow is opening, season. opening day. Opening day. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Are you zoomed in on my face? Right up your nose. Zoomed up right on your nose. Now we're all gonna cuddle in on this bed like we always do. I'm tired. Looks like Maddie is too. Matt, are you tired? No. What the heck? So, I'm about to put you guys on a charger, lay down, and go to sleep. Start this day over tomorrow. Tomorrow's opening day, so therefore, hopefully we get a deer. By the way, before I forget, I did not obviously get a deer down there. So maybe tomorrow, you know. Matthew and the kids did great in here while I was there. They didn't realize I was gone because they were so stuck to this TV. So tomorrow, hopefully we get a deer because I did not get one today.